I just signed it. Oh, Morgan Hale. That just happened and that was pretty intense. I'm not gonna lie. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kelsey and I record weekly vlogs to show behind the scenes of my life as well as my journey of starting a beauty brand. Today is Tuesday and my last vlog was my New York City vlog and I got home from New York on Wednesday last week at like 10 p.m. And then I didn't vlog this past weekend because basically my cousin was in town for the weekend and my parents were here so it was just like a little hectic. And then yesterday on Monday, I transparently was just a complete piece of shit. So now I'm rushing to get all my shit done today because I am supposed to leave to drive back to my hometown, Morgan Hill, tomorrow morning. but. Honestly, we'll see if that happens. I can't decide if I'm gonna drive tomorrow or on Thursday because I have a lot of shit to do. And I've just been looking at a bunch of contracts that I'm working on. I've just been literally frying my brain trying to understand all of the language in these legal contracts all morning. And then also um, I uncovered that I had a hidden email folder within my email that I use for all of my like influencery stuff and it turns out that there's like 15 brands that have emailed me that are were trapped in this folder that are brands that I would love to work with and I just didn't know that they had already emailed me. I was like speed replying to all of that this morning so that's what I've been up to. That's a long way to start a video. I'm working on getting all my shit together. I'm doing laundry. I need to film a YouTube video. I definitely need to film some TikToks because I've been slacking on TikTok and I'm just making lunch right now. I have like no groceries, so I'm eating pasta for lunch. But you know what? Actually, I'm gonna show you the pasta that I eat because it's actually like, it's healthy pasta and it's not even, it's healthier than like bonza pasta. So I'll show you that. This stuff, I shit you not, it tastes exactly, exactly like normal pasta and it's only 100 calories. A serving and it has like so much fiber and it has seven grams of protein it just it blows my mind and it's it literally tastes like normal pasta it doesn't make any sense so I'll link it in my bio you can get it on Amazon um, and they have a bunch of different like types of pasta they have like rotini penne they have like linguine I think if you're a noodle type of a long noodle type of bitch but yeah, this stuff is literally amazing. Okay, finally got dressed and did my hair. And it's only 1 p.m. <laughs> no big deal. But I'm about to record my everyday makeup routine for my YouTube channel. I'm gonna go do that and film probably for a few hours. Cause it just takes a while. Like you don't really realize I, I never realized how much goes into a YouTube video versus other things like for me tiktoks are very quick and easy like i don't overthink them because tiktok is just like a platform where like you can't take it too 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 seriously because sometimes the algorithm likes you and sometimes the algorithm doesn't and there's like not a ton that you can do about it so it's like i don't want to spend like a fuck ton of time like making a video that's gonna get like 5,000 views like literally my videos that have millions of views I recorded in like less than 20 minutes So it's just like you can't overthink it, but YouTube there's like a whole Art science to it. So it's just gonna take a while it takes a while. That's all Okay, I'm gonna go do that check in later. I realized that it's almost 6 p.m And I like to eat dinner early like I'm like a 5 5 30 p.m type of eater, like I'm like a senior citizen, but I feel like it's better because after I eat dinner, I don't really eat anything. So then I'm like done eating early, I don't know. So I just looked in the fridge and there's literally nothing I can make. Like there's not a single vegetable in the fridge, not a single one. There's, like I basically just have pasta to make and I, that's what I had for lunch. So I think I'm gonna order something even though I don't like spending money during the week, but I think I might get kava. Brilliant idea. I think I'm gonna get like a Greek bowl, so 
I'm gonna do that. I think I've officially decided that I'm not gonna drive home tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I think I, I need to drive home on Thursday. Like, I still am doing laundry, and I have, I have to pack for two weeks, which I haven't even started packing, and I'm going to Outside Lands, so I need to figure out all my outfits for Outside Lands also, because that's the second weekend. And like I'm going to a baby shower, my friends are having a housewarming party, like I need to figure out my outfits, so I don't think that's gonna happen tonight. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I feel better that I filmed everything today and then I can just focus on packing and like organizing my life tomorrow and then I guess I'll drive on Thursday morning, like early as fuck. I'm like a get up at 4 a.m. and drive type of girl, so. That's, that's what I'll do. So I'm staying here for tonight, so. That's the plan, Stan! All right, my kava is finally here. I got a Greek salad, chicken, onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, tzatziki, harissa, and olives. And then I got, I think, romaine and arugula. So good, Greek food is literally my favorite food ever, so I'm so excited for this and I'm just catching up on some Vanderpump rules before the new episode tonight. So that's what I'm doing. Happy Wednesday! So I got up this morning, went on my walk, and about a quarter of the way into my walk, I like literally cannot breathe. I have like severe nasal issues that I have not treated. I've been just lazy about it. I really need to get them fixed because I feel like they're getting worse and I like have bad allergies to begin with. So I just need to get it fixed. So anyways, I'm on my walk and I literally can't breathe. And I was like, oh my God, like this is a fucking sketch. So then I came home, showered, changed, whatever, even though I changed literally right back into pajamas. I just got it from H&M when I was in New York. But anyways, so I came home, was just gonna make breakfast and there is legitimately zero food for me to eat. There's no eggs, there's no bread, there is no fruit, there's no vegetables, like there's literally nothing at all in this house, zero. So um, I just went to Starbucks. Hopefully this vlog will get more interesting in the later half of the week when I'm at home. That'll be my first time vlogging at home, which should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Teej is a character, Mish is a character. I don't know if my brother's gonna be home or not, but that would be interesting. So we'll see how it goes, people. Just hang in there. Okay, so I said that I was gonna share behind the scenes of what goes into starting a beauty brand, so here is something that just happened to me. So I keep talking about all these contracts that I'm in the middle of, so I'm in the middle of negotiating a contract with this creative agency that I'm like so, so, so stoked about. And me and like the main designer there, um, I feel like we really get along. Like she understands my vision and I'm like super, super excited to work with her. And we've kind of gotten into a bit of like butting head situation. Um, when it comes to the contract, I have a lawyer that has kind of rewritten some of the sections of the contract. And I also have my dad helping me. Like he's just, he's an executive. Like he's looked at, you know, thousands of legal contracts. So I trust his opinion. Um, so they've helped me like kind of reword some things in the contract just to make sure I'm protected. Since this is my first time launching a business, like I don't know anything about legal contracts. It like hurts my brain to even read a legal contract. Like I'm trying my best, but it's just hard for me. We've like gone back and forth with this agency a few times on the contract. And so we've gotten to a point where there's like four or five points within the contract that we like fundamentally disagree on that are kind of like non-starters for both of us. But we're trying really, really hard to come to some sort of compromise on both sides. Um, and so myself and the designer there who get along really well, we're definitely like more creative people. Like we don't really like dealing with the contracts, whatever. And the creative agency has 
this guy that works there who's clearly like the business guy, works out the contracts, whatever, and then I have my dad. And so we all have a phone call together right now that was super last minute. Like it was, you know, they said, oh, we're only available until noon today. And it was like 11.45, so we only had like a few minutes to talk and then we like ran over time. It was just like kind of a mess. And the phone call got like a bit heated. I'm not gonna lie, like it got a little heated when we were like negotiating the contract, um, specifically between my dad and the guy, the business guy at the creative agency. So it was like a little uncomfortable, but I guess that that's like pretty normal. Um, when it comes to like negotiating contracts and stuff. So after we we were on like a group conference call and then we hung up the phone like less than five minutes later, the designer at the creative studio calls me literally as I was about to text her to say like, I hope that didn't like ruin anything because it was just like very heated and like a little uncomfortable. And so she calls me and we like definitely talked it through and we, just I feel like it kind of like built our relationship even more because I explained to her like where I'm coming from like I'm you know a young business owner who's never done this before and I just like need a like business advisor kind of in my corner to help me with things like legal contracts just to make sure that I'm not getting fucked over and you know I explained to her like this is a really big contract for me to sign like it's a huge amount of money that I'm investing with this company to you know cr literally create my brand for me um so i'm like you know it i think it's normal for discussions around contracts to get a little heated like it's uncomfortable for everyone but like i need to look out for myself like you guys obviously need to look out for you and kind of when i explain that to them they're like that completely makes sense like you're so smart for doing that like we completely understand like we just wanted to make sure that you felt like the same way as we do. I think the designer is really, really excited to work on this project with me. And I, as am I, like the second that I talked to her, like I talked to a bunch of brand agencies and the second that I talked to her, like I just felt like we clicked and it's just like, I think it's meant to be. So I just have a good feeling about it. But then this phone call was just so awkward. And it's just funny that we both felt so awkward about it that we like wanted to immediately reach out and be like, I hope that was okay. Like just want to make sure. So that just happened and that was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to business, baby. After that, that was like quite a little hiccup, but um, I think we all are fundamentally on the same page, so we just needed to make a few little tweaks to the wording in the contract and then we're gonna get this bitch signed and your girl's gonna start building a brand, people. The brand is coming. All right, change of plans. I very last minute decided that I'm gonna drive home tonight instead. It's 6 p.m. I think I'm gonna have to talk to both the formulator and the branding agency tomorrow morning, which is when I was planning on driving home. So I, I'm just gonna drive home tonight because I think it's gonna be easier. I'm like all like stressed out anyway, so I, I'm like not tired at all. So I'm just gonna drive home. Um, I just packed like a psychopath. It's giving like crackhead vibes back there, but I have no idea what I packed, which hopefully I packed some good stuff, but I just don't know what I'm doing for outside land. So that's what I'm the most stressed about. But knowing me, I'm just gonna fucking shop anyway. So I don't even know why I'm trying to pack like my normal clothes for concert clothes, so whatever. Okay, so it's six and I have not eaten since Starbucks, so I need to go like get a coffee to keep me alive and eat dinner. So honestly, I might go to Starbucks again <laughs> and just get like a fucking Starbucks sandwich for dinner. Like, I don't know what else to do. Um, so yeah, crackhead vibes, 100% going on right now. It's 6.15, um, so I think I'll get home around one, hopefully, but I'm kind of a speed demon, so we'll see if I get there by one. Maybe this will be a little test. That's a little scary. I shouldn't even say that. So whatever. Yeah. But this vlog is going to be so fucking chaotic. I can already tell. It's because I just have no brain this week. So just deal with it. Made it home. 
before one. It's like 12.50. Speed demon. I'm going to bed, I'm dead. Good morning, it is Thursday. I've had a bit of a chaotic morning and I'm like definitely brain dead because I did not sleep very much last night. So I woke up early and I've been doing a bunch of stuff with the contracts and I finally got the good to go on the contract for the lab. So I'm literally about to sign it, big day. I'm gonna sign it right now and send them a bunch of my money. <laughs> very excited, these people are very chill. Like this lab is very, very chill, so I'm excited. Click, click, baby. I really need to like work on my signature because it's trash. Like these people are probably judging me so hard. Oh my God, I'm signing it. I'm signing it, I just signed it. Oh my God, so exciting. I have a ton of brand emails to respond to. I'm shocked how many brands have like found my TikTok and reached out to me about like doing collaborations and like getting on their PR list and gifting and whatever. And it's like that, it's an entire new space for me. So I don't know what I'm doing at all. Um, so that's been interesting to try and like navigate also, trying to like figure out paid brand deals, which ones are worth doing just gifting for. It's very, it's an odd world, but it's, it's fun and like everyone that has emailed me is like so nice, so we'll see. But I have like a 10,000 like influencer emails to respond to, like it's getting overwhelming. Like I just don't understand. And it's hard to keep track of everything. I need to get organized. And I need to take a fucking shower and unpack my car because I'm a mess right now and it's almost 11 a.m. So I need to get my shit together. It has been a full 24 hours since I checked in, maybe a little over 24 hours, but yesterday I ended up just taking a three hour nap, which I never take naps ever. So that was interesting, but I was like so tired, so it was so nice. And then I went to my friend Emily and Morgan's house, um, and they're the ones having a housewarming party this weekend, so maybe I'll show you guys a snippet of that on, on Saturday. But today I've just been, me and my mom went to lunch. I've just been doing stuff on my computer. My brother and my cousin and his girlfriend are driving home from San Francisco. So we'll probably end up doing something tonight. So maybe I can get them to be part of the vlog so that it can be a little more interesting because this is literally just me talking the whole time. So I will check in later. We're ready. Come on. One, two, three. This makes me a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm professional for sure. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh yeah. Always a good time here. And take it away from here. Let that burn out for a little bit. Let it blow out whenever you guys are ready. Wow. Okay, my Now. That is the message. That is the message. And I've known Jenna since. Uh, yeah, literally. Basically. That's crazy. <laughs> literally, Morgan Hill thing. How do you feel about the 20 shots you just ordered? I feel a little nasty. I feel a little ready. <laughs> This is Lily, Grandma Lil. How you doing, Grandma Lil? She's 18. Very sleepy girl. Oh, I love you so much. Vlog, introducing you to Teej. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> We're going to a baby shower and look at my handwriting. Trash. I literally write like a five-year-old boy. The gift is so cute though. I have baby fever. I want a baby now. Alarming. All right, we are in the car. Oh, this is not 
not gonna work. <laughs> I have my handy assistant, Mish, here. We are in the car. We are going to a baby shower. Um, it's like 45 minutes away and we're running a little bit late. It is Saturday and I've been terrible at vlogging this whole week. So this vlog is gonna be chaotic for sure. I think I got some clips last night when we were at the bar though, so those should be interesting. Today we have the baby shower and then my two best friends moved in together. Um, so they're having a housewarming party, so we're gonna go to that later and I will definitely record some stuff there because people have been asking me to be in the vlog. So everyone's gonna wanna be in the vlog. We are in Morgan Hill, which I don't even know how to explain Morgan Hill to people, but it is the most ridiculous place on planet Earth. That is where I grew up. And there is basically a group of people that spans across like five years of ages and we're all best friends. Like all of us are best friends, which includes my younger brother, Cole, all of his friends, basically the grade below him, all of those people are coming to this party. The grade above me, there's a good group of people there. And then there's a grade above that and there's a bunch of people coming from that grade. And it's just ridiculous. Like there's like five years of people that are all best friends. And it's great, but it's chaotic. Is that a good way to explain it? <laughs> it's probably a group of like 50, 50 people, maybe? It's probably more than 50, to be honest, with some of, like, the extended friends. Just, there's nothing like Morgan Hill. It's an interesting place. Also, another factor of this is that all of us have been friends for, like, basically our whole lives in one way or another. Like, there's a group of us that started school together literally in kindergarten. So we've been friends for our entire lives. And then the rest of our friends, we met all in high school. And now we're, like years out of high school so we've known each other for like 10 years and we're just all still best friends and it's funny that we're all in town this weekend because we've all kind of like gone off and done our own things but there's all these weekends that happen where everyone's randomly in town together and then we have a fucking blast and a half and I feel like that's very rare because people don't really stay friends with their friends from like kindergarten or high school like a lot of people, once they go to college and like move away, that's like it. And they stay in contact with like one or two people. And we have a group of like 50 people that are still best friends and like hang out all the time. It's a unique place. Good old Morgan Hill. All right, I'm still recording on my phone because I think my camera's dead. But I just got some packages in the mail. I think I know what this one is. Oh, it's upside down. It's for Merit. I am so excited. I'm doing a video for them. Oh my God, so cute. Hey, they sent me like one of all of their products. Coming to TikTok soon. Oh, I know what this is. This, I ordered a hat for Outside Lands. But we'll see how it looks on me. I have an outfit in my head. But, you know, sometimes outfits in your head don't turn out the way. <laughs> that you envision. So we'll see if it works. It's from Huck, Huckberry. I found out on the internet. It says, don't trip. I don't even know if I want to try this on on camera just in case it's embarrassing. Okay. It's kind of a vibe. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Mish is like hating needs, over there. No, it needs to be um, a little less flat. <laughs> no, I think it's supposed to be flat. Maybe like a little curved. Yeah. Just but there, that's good. Don't trip, baby. Like on my day. Like on the bottom, subscribe. Swipe up. Swipe up. If only I had swipe ups, but I'm if not this, lucky. If this hits 50K, my husband will shave his head. She is actually the legend that made my hair tutorial go viral. It's her wedding. Macy, you are the reason I'm TikTok famous. I mean, you're welcome. Make sure you vlog my garage. You're 
vlog. This is uh, Emily's garrafe. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Over? For the vlog. Yeah, that's I'm tragic. Gonna, uh, you know, Amazon was coming. Hey, vlog. Hey, vlog. Hey, vlog. These are my two fucking best friends ever. I know. It's literally sisters. Emily Sparling over here is. AKA okay, Emu. Emu is. We've been best friends since kindergarten. And Morgan, our siblings are dating for 10 years. So we're forced to be friends, but honestly, <laughs> not, not happy about it. <laughs> wow, drama. I hate you more. <laughs> And we're drunk in the bathroom, baby! <laughs>